This week on The Gun Room, we are field testing Springfield's newest rifle out in the wilds of Colorado. Now, why are we testing out in Colorado? Because it's a hunting rifle, why not? And we're at the second elk season, or second rifle season for elk in Colorado right now. This is not, however, the first hunting trip this rifle has been on. You can see the video for that of our goat hunt in the Grand Teton National Park, elsewhere on Carnival. Now, this rifle, so far, has worked out really well for me. And now it is chambered in 6.5 PRC, or as I like to call it, 6.5 Ebola, because it kills pretty much anything you point it at. Taking this rifle features like stem to stern, or stern to stem, uh, we have a pretty cushy butt pad. It's not too firm, but it's, it's reasonably cushy. And this carbon fiber stock has five total sling points. So you're probably gonna find a place where you can attach a sling that works for you. It's not limited to the usual rifle locations of one underneath the forend and one under the buttstock like this one. There are two additional sling points on either side. So if you're used to using, say, an AR-15 type sling, you can sling up exactly the same way. The stock itself has an adjustable comb. This is one of the features that I really like on rifles like this because you don't know what kind of scope you're going to be putting on there or what height rings you're going to wind up with once you stack it on the bases. So having an adjustable comb really allows you to line up your eye behind the scope and get, uh, you know, eliminate that parallax error. As you can notice as well is the carbon fiber stock is hand painted with a pretty reasonably good, uh, attractive colour scheme. And uh, you can see a couple of notches and scrapes on this because I've dragged it up and down the mountain a few times. So far, it's held up reasonably well. Well, it's actually it's held up really well, despite me sliding on my ass down the, down the scree slope. Um, and then you can see there's a fair few dings on this scope as well. So a Leupold VX6, this is a perfectly uh, good accompaniment to the rifle. And again, has held up really well so far. Um, Moving up the gun, as you can see, it's a very vertical pistol grip, so it's more along those tactical lines. So it's kind of a crossover between a tactical stock and a, and a hunting stock. Um, very vertical pistol grip, like a Macmillan A5. The trigger is by Trigger Tech, and I've dialed this down to about 3.1 pounds. It's a very crisp single action break. And uh, the rest of the action, as you can see, detachable bottom metal takes AICS magazines. And because this is in 6.5 PRC, you only get four rounds in the magazine. The rest of the action is coated in Cerakote, so very durable there, and the bolt itself is a DLC coating, uh, which is very slick indeed. No problems there, racking the bolt. It's a 700 footprint action. It's not, however, made by Remington. It's made in-house by Springfield, and if you want to take this action and drop it into any other stock, then you can do so, so long as it's a 700 footprint. Nice thing about the action is the recoil lug is integral to it, so you don't have to fiddle around if you're changing barrels with that recoil lug and lining that up. The barrel itself is carbon fiber sleeved. Now, it's carbon fiber sleeved rather than carbon fiber wrapped. What does that mean? Well, like a proof research barrel, they'll take a stainless steel barrel blank, turn it down, then wrap it with carbon fiber and impregnate it with resin. This, on the other hand, is a stainless steel barrel blank which is fluted underneath this sleeve. And this tube, this carbon fiber tube, just there slides onto the barrel and is affixed by a nut at the muzzle end, which then tensions the whole thing and stiffens it up. Does it work? Well, the manufacturer claims a 0.75 MOA guarantee on the, on the gun. I've only shot it with two types of ammunition so far, Hornady ELDX, 143 grain uh, hunting round, and my own hand loads of 127 grain Barnes LRX, both of which are sub 0.75. I can guarantee that. Uh, the ELDX is right on that 0.75 mark. My hand loads, they're vertically stringed up to like 0.6 uh, of an inch, but width-wise it's down in the, into the threes. So if I can tighten that up a little bit, that's a smoking group. One thing I have noticed, however, is that because this is a cut for accuracy, the chamber on this is very, very tight. And there's a downside to that, which I discovered just the other day when I went to chamber around. So rack the gun, go to, go to close the bolt, and sure enough, can't close it because there's a tiny little bit of schmutz on the bolt face which didn't allow it to close. So just be aware of that. It is a match chamber. So if you're out in the field and running it in dirty conditions, you know, you may end up with a stoppage. Apart from that, the gun has run flawlessly on the range. Um, I'm really pleased with how it's shooting and I hope to be able to take an animal on this trip. Wish me luck.